हेलो फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू दिस वीडियो सो इन दिस वीडियो आई बेसिकली टॉक अबाउट हाउ आई डेवलप दिस वीडियो कटर एप्लीकेशन विद टाइम लाइन इन साइड नेक्स्ट चेज नेक्स्ट चेज एज यू ऑल नो इट्स अ फ्रेमवर्क फॉर बिल्डिंग बोथ सर्वर साइड एंड क्लाइंट साइड एप्लीकेशन सो इट्स ए फुल स्टैक एप्लीकेशन वीडियो कटर एप्लीकेशन राइट इन द ब्राउजर इट सेल्फ इट्स अ वीडियो एडिटर वे यू कैन एक्चुअली सेलेक्ट योर वीडियो फाइल it can be either any extension mp4 avi all the extensions are supported let me pick this file you will see that guys as the file will play right here this is actual video file and it has automatically constructed the timeline here you will see that at the bottom of the video as i load the video it has automatically created this awesome little timeline with the help of this timeline guys you can uh, trim whatever part that you want to cut from the video using the mouse you can control this uh, timeline you can drag and drop whichever part that you want to drag so you have seen these in video editors guys in desktop applications in video editor we have some timelines available so as you select the video or timelines are automatically created so we are also doing the same thing right in, inside this application so as you load the file here you can drag and drop and you can basically select whichever portion that you want to select Yeah, so this portion will be trimmed out so there is a trim button as you click the trim button guys ffmpg web assembly library will trigger and it will actually actually trim out this portion as we cl click this guys you will see that those 5 seconds have been trimmed so the length of the video is 6 seconds so the video is successfully been trimmed you can see that you can now play the video right here and uh, now you can download this video by clicking the download button and now you can play this video right in the browser in the player you can see that now the video is playing guys you will see that 6 seconds so the video is successfully trimmed guys you can basically pick any video of your choice it totally depends upon you you just need to select the video and uh, you can pick any video of your choice it needs to be mp4 avi any all the extensions are supported so as you just pick the file you will see that uh, 40 seconds so uh, there is not a uh, length limit guys here uh, you can pick uh, as much long video that you want to automatically it will create the timeline here you will see that this project is developed inside next js which is a very good framework progressive framework we are using ffmpg web assembly library and you can see that you can if you want to trim this uh, 14 0.14 starting time and 0.27 you can just control it with the mouse it makes it very much easy and then click the trim button and now that portion is successfully trimmed you can see the speed guys as soon as i click the trim button the video has been trimmed because we are not reencoding the video we are simply cutting this video by using the start time and the end time using ffmpg web assembly library it's a very awesome project guys it's a single page application video editor which allows you to trim or cut your videos using start time and end time it's a video timeline editor you will see that it constructed nice little timeline according to the length of the video you can control it with the mouse Uh, basically whichever portion you want to trim whichever portion you want to cut simply click the trim button now the video has been successfully trimmed so it's a single page application coded inside next years if you want the full source code guys full source code of this application the link is given in the description so you will actually get this full source code this is actually coded inside typescript in next years we are using ffmpg web assembly library so after you make the payment guys inside my website procoursefor.com the link is given in the description of the video you will get the zip file automatically from the google drive after the payment you will be redirected to google drive where you will get the zip file you just need to extract the zip file which will actually contain this directory structure you will see that this will be the app folder which will actually contain the components folder styles which will actually contain the css code for this application and this is a layout file this is a page.tss file page.tss file is the home page of the next year's application as you all know and then we have various components out there uh, this is the edit page result page upload button page all these components are there this is the public folder utils folder so this is actual full Uh, source code guys it's a fully next js project you can customize this accordingly if you have the source code you can get the source code it's a fully fleshed uh, video editor video cutter 
with with timeline using F FFmpg WebAssembly library in Next.js. Click the trim button. You can see that instantly the video has been cut. Then you can simply download the video by clicking the download button. The video will download as an attachment in the br browser itself. So we are actually use this uh, FFmpg WebAssembly library guys. If you don't know about FFmpg, it's a open source audio and video processing library for uh, command line you can simply install this library on the command line the command is very simple to actually convert uh, uh, video from one format to another or you need to compress video cut video all those operations you can perform using this ffmpg open source library and uh, one way if you want to use it in the browser we have this solution ffmpg webassembly webassembly as you all know it's a intermediate between the high level code or the machine language code so this uh, is actually developed by this is an open source library which allows you to actually use ffmpg right in the browser itself so we are actually using it as a base library you can read more about it in their official website so we are actually using this as a base library in Next.js to actually code this awesome application. If you need the full source code, the link is given. You can directly purchase it. Coming back to the code, guys, uh, you will see the package.json file. You will actually see the at the rate ffmpg core library. We are using this ffmpg core library. Then we are using the Next.js 13.4. It is compatible with the latest version as well or in the older version as well so this project is compatible with the latest version or the older version as well so we are also using react and typescript you will see that all the files are coded inside typescript typescript if you don't know about it's a super superscript of javascript so it has more validation rules so it is super super set of javascript so it has more features than JavaScript. It makes coding very easy. So we have this layout file, page.tss file. You will see that this is the actual command that we are running right here. We are writing the file here. And we are basically, this is the actual command that we are running, guys. You will see that ffmpg command. The starting time, we are converting this time to string. And then we are providing dash i. This is the input file name. And dash t. And then this is the offset. We are re we are not re-encoding the video, we are copying the encoding like this dash c copy and this is the output file like this. Then we are saving this file and basically reading it as a base64 code. We are doing it, converting it to the blob object data.buffer type is equal to video slash mp4 and then we are setting the trim video to data URL. So we are actually using the concept of React chase also here in next chase. It's a client side component you will see that at the very top we write use client so this makes this component as client side so at the very top we use use client so it's a client side component in next.js and uh, we have different components this is the edit page this is a result page this is the upload button page so various components are there we also have the utils folder which also contains some helpers functions to actually download the video file all that stuff so it's a very awesome project guys i should definitely convey is to definitely purchase it it's a very good starting point if you are not comfortable with the ffmpg it will be a great booster and it it will make you learn ffmpg very good because it's a fully coded project that you have video editor with timeline to actually trim and cut your videos with awesome little timeline which comes right here so it will actually boost your performance so definitely purchase it the link is given in the description you will actually get this full source code and uh, if you have some problem you can contact me at my email address and uh, after the payment is done if you have some problems in deploying this code you can also contact me but uh, it's a very awesome project you will not face any problem the link is given in the description after the payment you will be redirected to google drive where you will get the zip file and you just need to extract it and simply run this command which is npm run dev if you don't know so simply run this command guys after you npm run dev so this will actually it will start your local host 3000 so it will start your local host 3000 server add it so 
you will see video cutter so you need to select the video file and in this way so in this way guys you can actually any video you can take guys depending upon the length of the video it will actually construct your timeline so you just need to wait for the timeline to be constructed once the timeline is constructed you can actually uh, cut video trim video based upon it so in the inspect element if you see guys it actually is executing ffmpg if you see in the console also basically ffmpg webassembly is doing its job here in constructing it you will see that so the timeline you will see that it is constructed so once the timeline is constructed it becomes very much easy to actually trim the video you simply select whichever portion that you want in the video by using the mouse starting and the ending time click on trim it makes it very much easy you will see that the video has been trimmed click on download then this trim portion will be downloaded so this makes it very much easy guys with this timeline editor so you don't need to use any third party software you can code your own text edit, uh, video editor similarly ffmpg webassembly with timeline so definitely purchase this this will be a good, good project to actually learn how i developed this video editor using ffmpg webassembly in next years it will be a good starting point if you are applying for a job or if you are a student you can basically just show this inside your resume after you purchase it you will get full commercial right you can actually use my code or deploy it to any application on money as well so thank you very much guys please hit that like button subscribe the channel as well and i will be seeing you in the next video